Hey guys, Zot here, and in today's video we're going to be covering Frost Mage, and how they specifically use Shatter to Burst. We're going to be covering damage combos, which abilities you can shatter, and giving you some in-depth tips and tricks that all top mages use to deal the maximum damage, be it instant or casted. Dealing damage as a Frost Mage is all built around one mechanic, and that is Shatter. This makes your spells have an increased critical strike effect against frozen targets. Knowing how to best put this mechanic to use is how you maximise your burst damage as a mage, and is quite frankly the difference between a good and bad mage. To first learn how to burst, we must fully understand this mechanic. Everything as a frost mage can be shattered, but the most important abilities are Frostbolt, Ice Lance, Comet Storm and Ice Nova. And to shatter abilities, you have four ways to do it. You can use your Pet Nova, Ice Nova, Frost Nova and lastly Flurry when used with a Brain Freeze proc as this will apply Winter's Chill to the enemy, which has the same effect as if you was to shatter your spells with a Nova. Now we understand the shatter mechanic, let's first talk about building up damage. As to do this, you have two main abilities. These are basically your fillers. The first is Frostbolt. When you're not bursting, you should be Frostbolting. This is good for three reasons. Firstly, most obvious, it will keep your enemy slowed. Secondly, it has a chance to generate both Fingers of Frost and Brain Freeze procs, as well as Icicles on top of that which will help with bursting, which we'll get into shortly. And last up, it will generate you Tunnel of Ice stacks, a trait you should be using when in PvE matchups. You should also be casting Blizzard frequently to reduce the cooldown of your Frozen Orb, especially when playing a setup-based comp like Subrogue Frost Mage. When placing Blizzard, always make sure to place it on as many targets as possible. Against Demonology Warlocks and Unholy Death Knights, you should also spec into Freezing Rain and just spam Frozen Orb plus Instant Blizzards. This will make your frozen orb such a short cooldown. Okay, now we've got these procs, what do we do with them? Well, there are two basic combos you can do. Combo number one requires just a brain freeze proc. For this, you'll simply cast Frostbolt into Flurry into Ice Lance. This will in turn shatter both the Frostbolt and Ice Lance due to the travel time of Frostbolt, giving you some very nice burst and only at the cost of one brain freeze proc. This is your standard burst without using any Novas. It's also recommended to use Brain Freeze procs as you get them, unless you absolutely need to hold on to them for a huge kill setup attempt. Holding on to a Brain Freeze proc while still casting Frostbolt can net you a huge damage loss as the potential to miss out on procs is extremely high. And with most mage comps currently benefiting from high consistent damage, it's for sure better in most scenarios to just use procs as you get them. The second combo with procs is a little more damage but requires you to have both a Fingers of Frost proc and a Brain Freeze proc. This combo is Ice Lance into Frostbolt into Flurry into Ice Lance. This will in turn shatter both your Ice Lances as well as your Frostbolt, giving you some crazy burst. Outside of its burst damage with procs, Mage has consistent instant burst damage on a short cooldown, revolving around Orb, Ice Nova and Comet Storm. This is the burst you should be looking to do on setups. Say you're playing Rogue Mage. Once you kidney the target and get a poly onto the healer, this is how you should be bursting. First up, drop your orb. Into Comet Storm. Into Ice Nova, into Pet Nova. This will shatter the majority of your Comet Storm and deal some insane damage. After that, use any Fingers of Frost procs you still have to finish the target off. On top of your instant burst and proc damage, you have two main casted burst abilities. These are Ray of Frost and Ebon Bolt. Ebon Bolt is simple to use. Just cast it followed up by the instant brain freeze proc provided into another Ice Lance. Both your Ebon Bolt and Ice Lance will shatter thanks to your Winter's Chill. You also can cast this from quite close range thanks to the travel time of Ebon Bolt. Ray of Frost is a channeled ability that deals some decent damage and provides you with a guaranteed Fingers of Frost proc. It's best to use this when you know you can get the full channel off, or your enemy is looking to retreat behind a pillar. It's also worth noting that you can shatter the final two ticks of Ray of Frost with your Pet Nova for some added damage. Now that we know the basics of Shatter and your general burst rotations with and without procs, let's take a look at some of the combos you can use to fully take advantage of the Shatter mechanic. This is a very well known and common way to shatter your Frostbolt and Ice Lance. This will always work on both abilities because you can time the Pet Nova to land as your Frostbolt and Ice Lance connect, giving you a nice little bit of burst that doesn't require any procs. The next combo is Frostbolt into Ice Nova into Ice Lance. 
This will shatter both your Frostbolt and Ice Lance if your partners don't break your Nova. Now, what if you don't have Pet Nova or Ice Nova to shatter with? Well, no problem. This advanced combo can be used to shatter your Frostbolt. First, precast a Frostbolt, follow up then with a Blink into Frost Nova and then Ice Lance. The Nova won't break from your Frostbolt, which means if your partners don't break the route, you can throw in an extra Ice Lance. So, have you ever been caught in a position where you just don't have enough damage to finish off your opponent, and you can't cast Frostbolt? Well, these combos are for exactly these situations. First up, we've got the basic Pet Nova into Ice Lance. This combo has been a staple to Mage's Instant Burst for many expansions now, and can really help get that damage out when you can't cast. Next up is the Ice Nova into Ice Lance. This again is all instant and could deal some nice surprise burst damage. And lastly is Frost Nova into Ice Lance. This is all instant damage and can really help in finishing off enemies when you can't cast. Alright guys, that just about wraps up this guide on how the best mages use Shatter. Thanks for watching and be sure to plus skill and leave a comment if you liked this video.